call me, yeah, nigga, I'm with the shit. DC, what they call me, and I'm always by my dog. DC, what they call me, and it's motherfucking ho. DC, what they call me. Okay, you guys probably didn't think you'd see me this much. So many episodes back to back. I know, especially about this car. I got the bleeder kit. It's like about nine bucks at O'Reilly's. Uh, I had to do it myself because I do not have anybody to help me bleed this. That's what we're gonna do today because if I don't do this, I can't go to the shop and get my exhaust done because I have open down pipe. You guys don't know, I hope you can see that. I have open down pipe. No, it doesn't go anywhere. It's just loud as shit. And it'll be ignoring the fuck out of my neighbor. So, I only, been, I only had the car here like for a day, literally. It's just been loud as fuck. So, I have to get these brakes done. Gotta bleed them. Then I'm gonna take it to the shop so it can go ahead and put my whole full exhaust on. After that, I'm asking where I can get safety from. Go and get the safety and then go get my car registered. If I don't get my car registered today, then I'll just do it on Monday. But like I said, I can still drive the car. It's street legal for 30 days. Uh, I have the permit for it, so that's not an issue, but you know. <sighs> Bruh. I didn't think I did I didn't think I'd be working this car this fast. If it wasn't for that brake shit. I would be driving this car and I would have got the muffler thing already done. I would have got the safety yesterday and then we would have been Gucci. But, because it would be some fuck niggas. Huh? I gotta do this. So, I'm not gonna record this. I'm just gonna do it. I heard the sequence is front driver, front passenger, rear driver, rear passenger. That's how I heard the sequence was. Don't quote me on that. I'm gonna look it up again and make sure. And hopefully that's right. So I can just bleed this, put it back together, press the brake, see if it it's Gucci. I'm just chilling, so I gotta go meet old dude, so I can go get this uh, get this exhaust valved up. He said from what I'm, uh, from what I need, from what he hears me saying, it should be about a hundred dollars. So, cause I already have everything all the way up into the cat. So I just need some valved up up into the cat, and then I'm good. I don't want nothing. I don't want no high flow cat. I don't want nothing loud. Just boom, just like that. So much work. This is a different part of a video that I did when I actually had the brake. Uh, how can I say this? My damn brake pads missing. So in this video, I figured I'd just make this a whole separate video, and I'm gonna show you guys how to bleach your brakes. So right now I have this little self bleedomatic, as it says on here. Bleedomatic. I got this from O'Reilly's. It was like eight, bu nine bucks, eight nine nine or whatever. So pretty much what you do is. You have a little bleeder, bleeder valve, right? It's supposed to. This actually is magnetic, so it sticks on there, right? And then I only got one hand, so I'm putting on a tripod later. And then you put it onto this little valve. Boop. And then you open the valve until you see a little fluid come out, and then you press on the brake until you see no more air bubbles. So pretty much what I gotta do is I'm just by myself. I gotta push it a few times, come out here, and then see if there's any um, if any bubbles in this line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and do this. And I'm gonna leave the camera right here so you guys can see. Let's get into this. This is gonna be the less hard time I already this one loose. So. Oh, 
I see some bubbles. Y'all see that? All right. See that bubble right there? So we gotta keep, uh, gotta keep pushing the pedal. Now at this time we're gonna go ahead and check the brake fluid on to make sure we don't wanna run out of the reservoir. Reservoir's fine, so keep pumping. Now you see that's clear. There's no. I see one little bubble. So good. It should be fine though. It should be fine. Let's go ahead and tighten this line back up. You ain't gotta crank it all extra hard. This. Uh, just tight enough. Just barely tight enough. See, so I got some. Okay, guys. That's all it is to it. I just went to the back where it was leaking at and the reason I went there was because that's where it was actually leaking at. So I just started from right through where the leak was coming from because that's where the air would be most likely. Everywhere else in the system should be fine. Now my brake pedal is stiff now. Thank goodness for that. Now I got brakes. Now I can go ahead and get this. You guys probably seen that video. The muffler video. So I can have this thing not open down pipe no more. So I can stop disturbing the piece. So yeah. Just needs to tune really. And since I have this already up, I think I might just put my strut bars back on here because it's already in the air, so why not? You know what I'm saying? So we better go ahead and do that. And get her back how she needs to be. So hopefully this video helped you guys. I know I didn't go all around and do all the brake uh, calipers, but if you have the sequence and you see pretty much I give you guys a basic knowledge of how to do it and what to look for, and you just do that with every every uh every caliper. That's it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next episode. Deuces. Yeah, nigga, I'm with the shit. This is what they call me, and I'm always by my dog.